Yes, yes, yes. Yo, Peter, thanks for joining us so early. Uh, Pete, yeah, I just want to talk about the Yankees rotation real quick since uh, the Yankees let uh, you Darvish sign with the Cubs. Where do you think the Yankees are headed when it comes to adding to their rotation? Do they add or not? Yeah, I mean, I think they have to add. I mean, I I'm with you on – the whole idea that the Yankees need to add a starter. I mean, I'm not, I, I've been, obviously you go back and forth with um, a lot of people uh, when it comes to talking about the Yankees that feel like their rotation is good the way it is now. Now it, it's good. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's a decent, it's a good rotation. I don't want to say decent because if they're healthy, it is a good rotation, but there's no depth. There's no real depth there. I mean, you don't want to rely on exactly. guys like Luis Sessa, Domingo Herman, and Chance Adams. Look, the, the, the real deal about Chance Adams is, he didn't get called up last year for a reason. Yeah. I mean, you had people saying he was major league ready, but he didn't get called up for a reason. Do you think he's like, really um, gonna... do you think they're just hyping it, him up so he could be like traded down the line? Yeah. I mean, I, I've never been high on Chance Adams. Now, hopefully he proves me wrong, but I think he's going to be a bullpen piece long term if he's not traded with the Yankees. Yeah. Guy doesn't, he, he's a two pitch pitcher. He's a, he's a, another uh, Chad Green with maybe not as powerful stuff. So, I mean, not, uh, not the guy that you want to rely on. Going into a year when you're expecting to win a championship, so yeah, I do expect them to add a starting pitcher. Now, if that's going to be via free agency, if Alex Cobb's price drops, we'll see. Um, I don't see them going after Lance Lynn unless he comes to them. I don't see them getting Jake Arrieta also, as I think a lot of other teams are interested in. Them. Alex Cobb for free agents makes the most sense just because he's been in the East already. So he's been pitching against the Red Sox, against the Yankees, against the Orioles, against the Blue Jays makes the most sense. And on the trade front, I mean, there's still options out there. I still love the idea of Patrick Corbin. I know I talked about that here recently. But um, if J.D. Martinez goes with Arizona, they're going to have to move salary somewhere. I want your opinion. Yeah, I want your opinion on the AL East. Obviously, the Boston Red Sox have a phenomenal rotation. As of now, Mm -hmm. how I look at it, I think it might be close. I mean, I might think it's – it's a close race between the Red Sox and the Yankees as it is right now. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't count the Red Sox out. I mean, if you think about it, if you think about it, last year, uh, some things went wrong for the Red Sox and a lot went right for the Yankees. Exactly. I mean, it, there's, there's no, there's no denying that. Nobody expected Aaron Judge to do what he did. You know, nobody expected when Gary Sanchez was healthy to be as as great as he was. Didi Gregorius. I mean, the list goes on. Uh, Jordan Montgomery never expected him to be that good. Luis Severino becoming an ace. None of that was ever expected. I mean, and, and that's just talking not even as a fan. That's just being a baseball fan overall. A lot went right for the Yankees to get to where they were now. Exactly. The and, we, and we all know that um, the, the track record with uh, Chris Sale and David Price, they are ace caliber pitchers. And the thing I'm worried about is that we don't know if Severino's going to have the same year. Tanaka wasn't that great until the playoffs. So it's a lot of red flags for me. Yeah, I mean, there's probably a better chance that Tanaka bounces back than Severino having the same type of year. And that's not knocking Severino, but there's exactly. a lot of workload on him. He, he might get better. I mean, he, he yeah. really might. There's, there's still a lot of – and that's how I've always explained the Yankees' rotation – when people come at me and go, oh, no, they're fine. Let them just get a third baseman or a second baseman. Yeah. Well, the Yankees, the Yankees rotation is is really five question marks, and I don't. Anybody could be that. Exactly. But they but, do um, have five I, guys I, right I, now that can be yeah, question marks. Yeah, but I like Sonny Gray at that third spot. I think he is a third starter, so I'm happy with that at least. But the thing. No, I agree. Yeah, the agree. thing that I see the Yankees not doing, and they should is really trying to trade for an ace caliber type pitcher because like we keep saying if they go into the season without a proven ace or a legit pitcher like I said in my previous video they might be a wild card team yeah I mean it's it's very possible there's definitely no guarantee that that they're going to win the east just because they got Stanton now I know they got we know one of the best bullpens in baseball. We know that. We know they got one of the best lineups in baseball, if not the best, with with Houston. You know, and that's the way you got to look at it too. You know, these other teams improved. Exactly. I mean, Houston didn't. Houston didn't just sit back. And honestly, I don't think Houston's done. You know, JT Real Muto might be that catcher next yep. year if they if they decide on uh, on on trading one of their top prospects. So this is a team that has reloaded. Also, 
They they picked up Garrett Cole. Their rotation is arguably the best in baseball. I mean, you got three workhorses on yep. top, and then two younger guys who have stuff to be absolutely dominating. So, yeah, no no question about it. I mean, the Yankees need to add a starter now. If they if they add a starter before the deadline, I don't necessarily see it being an ace. You know, you're looking more at like a Odorizzi possibly, a Patrick Corbin. You know, I don't think Chris Archer is going to be a guy they would pick up at this time. Now, the deadline, there's going to be many possibilities, but I don't, I don't necessarily see something big going down before the season starts. Yeah, and um, what I thought was odd, I heard that the Yankees want to start Chad Green as a starter. What do you think about that? Yeah, I, well, I think I talked about that during my live chat yesterday. What I think that is is, Keeping him into the to the same uh, to the re- same repetitive nature that he's used to. Yeah, he's gonna be in the he's gonna be in the bullpen. I think what yeah. it is is more of an arm strength thing, same conditioning that he was used to doing, and then to start the year he might be the setup man, the Chapman. You never know. So, I mean, I think the Yankees gonna keep him. While he's in. I don't think you want to mess with something like that. He's the same deal. He's a fastball slider guy. He's the same same type of trend as guys like Batances have been, where they haven't developed that change up well enough for a third pitch that they need to move to the bullpen. And that's where Chance Adams is heading also if he doesn't in, in, doesn't improve on that changeup he has. So, Pete Seminary of the Seminary Report, before I let you go because I know you're a busy man, what, in your heart, what, what you feel, what, what picture would you love to see the Yankees trade for or sign via free agency? Well, there, I, there's a, if there's two guys on top of my list, not saying that they'll get both of these guys, but via free agency, I mean – I think Alex Cobb on a three-year deal will be a perfect fit. I mean, I think people underestimate how good Cobb is. He's not a guy that's going to that's gonna pitch to under a three ERA, but he's going to give you a very solid to- uh, uh, start every time out, and he's going to give you innings. That's what the Yankees really need. He's going to be reliable. Exactly. So, what, 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 what was that um, other Japanese picture the Yankees had before Tanaka? What was his name again? Kuroda. Hiroki yeah, Kuroda. And he, he was a consistent type pitcher. You knew yeah, what you Kuroda were getting with him. Kuroda was excellent. Exactly. And so, then, I mean, uh, he, he a lot of people. It's funny too because a lot of people actually compare uh, the, the the way that Cobb pitches to Asian pitchers. Yeah. With the way his delivery is, with the he throws a splitter, throws a changeup, fastball, good stuff, good movement. But via trade, I mean, I, I said it all off season. I really like Patrick Corbin. I, I really do. Yeah. I mean, he's a guy who, a couple of years back before he had an injury, was one of the premier left-handed pitchers on the rise in baseball, not just the National League, yep. in Major League Baseball. Last year, he pitched to a four ERA. I understand that. Had a struggle in the first half. Second half was one of the best pitchers in the National League. And people also forget, he made the most starts for the Diamondbacks last year. Exactly. So people forget that. There's a reliability factor with a guy like him. And people always say, well, he's probably not better than Montgomery. Hey, look, Montgomery had his first taste last year. Yep. Teams didn't adjust to him. He came out of nowhere. He wasn't a top prospect. So he came out of nowhere. Let's see. I think Montgomery has a chance to be a very good pitcher, but there's nothing wrong with starting him in AAA. Somebody's going to get injured. Somebody's going to miss some start. Yep. You're going to need those backup guys, and you don't want to rely as a championship team on Domingo Herman and Chance Adams. Exactly. So this has been Peter Seminetti of the Seminetti Report. Follow him on Twitter, Seminetti Source. And thanks for the time, Pete. Thank you. All right, take it easy, man. Thank-